What's up guys, Matt from Our Last Night here. Today I'm going to show you guys a new tape delay plugin from Joey Sturgis Tones called Soar. Uh, I think it sounds really awesome on vocals and guitar. So I dragged in some stems from our song Common Ground and did a little remix for you guys to uh, show you guys some examples of how you could use this plugin for your songs. So here we go, let's dive into it and check it out. Burn it down. All right, so here we have the lead vocal for Common Ground. I know we both want to do the right thing, but the needle in our compass is trembling. So you can hear the vocal is pretty, pretty dry on here right now, but uh, we're going to use the sore delay, tape delay here. See how it sounds. Trapped in the flames as our house burns down Left for dead cause we can't find common ground As you can hear it sounds pretty awesome uh, Let's see what I did to get that delay um, Okay, so we did a uh, locked it into the beats per minute And the song is 150 beats per minute but I actually divided that in half and did 75 so I get a slower delay on the vocals. Um, let's hear the delay just by itself. So it's a really nice stereo delay that make your vocals sound really huge. Um, I guess for the settings on Soar, I have pretty much everything pretty cranked. Uh, I have the repeats pretty high. So you get the vocals uh, continuing over the gaps in the vocal melody. Uh, I get the age cranked because I thought it sounded pretty cool and vintagey. Um, the flutter is also cranked. It does kind of like a just does what it says it does. Just kind of a little fluttery effect. And I have the contour up as well, which cuts out a lot of the lows. A lot of times, low frequencies and vocal delays gets really uh, just kind of confuses your ear a little bit. So I like to cut those out. I mean, it's a bust, it's a vocal bust, so you want it all the way wet, 100% wet. It sounds really awesome on these vocals. It sounds a lot like the actual song, uh, but with a little bit more vintage -y vibe. I, d I don't think I used a tape delay on the original song, but so it, was, it worked great for that. I actually think it'd be pretty cool to kind of automate it a little bit here. With the needle in our compass is trembling, trapped in the flame. Compass is trembling. Trapped in the flames as our house burns down. Left for dead cause we can't find common ground. Cool. So that's the first vocal part. And then we get this guy right here as well. With a, uh, I did, instead of a stereo delay, I did a mono delay on this one. going to that part repeating the uh, burn it down lyric um, but as you can hear let's listen to both of these we can't find common ground so we agree to burn it down so during this break here i think we're we should probably automate this to, uh, to burn it down over this vocal we should probably mute the uh, delay bus here so we agree to burn it down The song hits in, we're actually going to make the delay louder because it sounds really great. Let's hear that. Cool. So then I automated it back down for the last vocal so it wasn't quite as intense. And yeah, it sounds great on vocals. Um, really love it, probably use it uh, from here on out on some vocal stuff. Also sounds really great on guitars. So let's hear some of the guitar stuff we did. Let's 
So this is a nice ambient guitar sound we got with uh, the soar delay before the amp modeler. It just sounds really cool. I do a lot of the delays before my amp modeling just because it kind of sounds more natural, less, uh, more like you recorded it with an actual amp. Uh, so let's see what settings we have here. I thought the flutter didn't sound quite as good on guitars as it did on vocals. Um, it just kind of gave this weird little kind of pitchy flutter to it, which just sounded a little funky on guitars. Other than that, it was really cool. I, t I just toned some things down a little bit, the repeats down, the health down. Took the contour down to keep some of the low end. Um, also ramped the beats per minute back up to 150. And this actually, I did the multi setting here just to kind of give it a more delay to it a little bit. And it's got a really nice ambient sound and then I finished it off with just a little bit of reverb. And then I also did this kind of rhythmic type thing. So to get this, I actually did the soar after the amp modeling and uh, did a couple different things with this. I took the f turned the feedback off because that made it a little bit, the feedback kind of did a slappy kind of repetitive, quicker delay, which since we're looking for the rhythmic sound, didn't really quite work. It just kind of made it sound sloppy. So that mixed with the flutter was also really weird. So I turned the flutter down, uh, turned the contour back up to give it a more, uh, just a tighter sound. I did this uh, stereo as well, so it kind of is a really wide delay. That kind of fills out the part. Um, and then below that, I did two takes of just kind of some finger picks, low chords. That was just like a simple, uh, a simple quarter note. I did the single setting on that to just keep it simple, but it sounded really nice on that. Just kind of gave it a nice dark delay to fill that out a bit. Soar is a really awesome tape delay. Sounds really cool. Probably used it a bunch on vocals and guitar. Really impressed. So thank you, Joey Sergis Tones, for uh, letting me try that out. And we'll show you guys the whole song here. I know we both want to do the right thing But the needle in our compass is trembling Trapped in the flames as our house burns down Left for dead cause we can't find common ground 